Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, so you know what? Every time we see footage of Floyd Mayweather training and running, like I said, Floyd, he, he gets us because no matter how much we may like or may not like Floyd, he can figure out a way to get us talking about him. He can find a way to make himself a topic of discussion or a topic for a video. But there's been several footage, you know, there's been several pieces of footage of Floyd Mayweather training, running, hitting the mitts, you know, working on his, his defense, working on, you know, his... Um, reflexes working on his speed and it make you think okay is he finna do it again there's been a lot of rumors about that Floyd Mayweather should Manny Pacquiao be victorious over Errol Spence that Floyd could possibly come out of retirement and fight Manny Pacquiao me, myself, I don't think this is a good idea. I think Floyd shouldn't do this. I really think Floyd is playing with fire. And I think Floyd is just really asking for that moment where he has a serious wake-up call and he realizes he isn't Floyd Money Mayweather no more. And he definitely isn't pretty boy Floyd. But I hope that doesn't happen to him. Because Floyd's whole persona is based off that hope. Now, I know that he asked Manny Pacquiao to do an exhibition fight. But Manny Pacquiao said, uh-uh. Manny Pacquiao said, I want a real fight. Now, what type of value does Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao to have? It definitely don't have what it have or what it had in 2015. Okay, that was six years ago. Definitely don't have that anymore. I say Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao too, if it would actually happen, if it comes to fruition, I say it would do, I say it would do anywhere between 1.7 to possibly 2 million pay-per-views. I don't think it would have the expectation because people would say people still remember the end results Floyd dominated Manny Pacquiao but in this particular fight you would have to make Manny Pacquiao the favorite you would have to by default you would have to but the question is like I said how much does Floyd willing to risk and put on the line for some more money my thing is with floyd and i'ma just say this i'm not pocket watching but I, I i gotta i gotta ask this question if floyd is a billionaire like they have him documented in some reports for being a so-called billionaire well why the hell does floyd keep fighting and I don't want to hear this stuff about for the love of the sport and all that kind of stuff because me myself, billionaires don't fight, don't 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 keep fighting. And then you know Floyd at the at the age of 44, he's still doing this stuff where he showing off all these elaborate and you know you know you know exotic cars and stuff. You know, remember, it costs money to keep all that stuff up. It costs money. Insurance and all that stuff. You know, property taxes and all that. that I, I, I mean, for real. Like I said before. He keep talking about that he, he got all this, he got all that. Like I said, real talk. Millionaires don't say they multi-millionaires. Like I said, Jeff Bezos got enough money to single-handedly probably buy America and literally own the United States. 
Amazon is worth a trillion dollars with a T. So Jeff Bezos got stupid paper, but do you see Jeff Bezos talk about I'm a you know I'm I'm a multi billionaire. There's like people sitting up. I'm a multi millionaire. Okay. Okay. Like I said, millionaires don't have to say they millionaires. That's just real. That's just real talk. People can take it how they want. But like I said, I really question, you know, this stuff with Floyd about whether he's an actual billionaire or not. Because like I said before, he keeps saying he made smart investments and all this type of stuff. But why do you got to keep fighting? Michael Jordan came to the conclusion as, as brilliant as he was as a basketball player, he finally realized that he wasn't MJ no more. He wasn't Air Jordan. He literally became Michael Jordan in that final All-Star game that he started where he missed that breakaway dunk. Missed it. And people was laughing on the sideline. People was like, damn. So it took took that for him to realize damn I'm not Air Jordan no more not Michael Jordan no more you know I'm not you know I'm not Air Jordan I'm Michael Jordan now so this is what I'm saying I really think Floyd need to stop doing this because like I say he is seriously playing with fire like I said all people even if Floyd fight an actual fight and he win and let's just say he fight another exhibition fight against a youtuber and let's just say he fight fake paul and fake paul even though floyd win the fight but let's just say fake paul put him on his ass do you know how embarrassed you know how embarrassed floyd would would, would be if that happened floyd better better quit while he ahead before he fall behind quick just saying. I hope he ain't considering fighting Manny Pacquiao. Because it could end up as a disaster. Real talk. And Floyd know people is praying for him to lose. They just praying for him to have an embarrassing moment so they can talk about him for the rest of their for the rest of their days, the rest of his day. So like I say, Floyd better quit playing with fire. He really taking a chance. All he need is one bad moment. And people gonna re, they gonna they gonna throw it in his face forever. Don't matter if he fight fake Paul and he win, but if fake Paul put him on his ass, that's it. It's gonna be embarrassing for Floyd. So that's all I have to say. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.